Wayne Parker is a backyard astronomer. I'd come out very often at 8 o'clock at night and keep going till dawn. Winter, summer, spring, fall, you'll find him tucked away in his observatory, staring at the sky for hours. Some would call it crazy, some would call it lucky. Most of the time, he's your average stargazer scanning the sky for things that interest him. Mostly deep sky stuff, galaxies, nebulas, as much as possible nebulas because each one of them is quite different, quite colorful on the camera. But when he's not looking at stars, he is one. Ordinary people doing ordinary things with ordinary dreams. Wayne's a rock star in the Canadian band Glass Tiger. He plays bass. I think I was I was turned on at a at an early age by uh, and this gives my age away, uh, the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and science fiction. And when I traveled around the world with the band, I used to, to uh, carry with me a small telescope that I would set up everywhere I went and show people things like Saturn and the moon and, and Jupiter. And people especially who had never seen it before were, were uh, quite amazed at what you can see through a telescope. Spending time with the band is great, but Wayne is just as happy being as far away from the music scene as possible. Well, the main reason we moved out here was because dark skies. Uh, the funny thing is, nowadays, with today's filters and so on, CCD cameras, you can do the same kind of astronomy right in the city. And, uh, but we like out in the country better. His preferred home away from home is his sky shed pod, Wayne's answer to the backyard observatory. It grew mostly out of my frustration with visiting friends and seeing these beautiful instruments uh, sitting in dining rooms, and sitting in garages, sitting in basements, and people would invest, you know, anywhere from five hundred to fifteen thousand dollars or more in a telescope, and use it twice, and maybe never use it again. It turns out that a lot of backyard observatories are either too big, too expensive, or too hard to assemble, so most people won't buy them. Wayne designed one that he hopes is going to catch on. We spent years actually designing this, engineering it, developing it in conjunction with astronomers we went to them and we asked them will this work you know do you like this do you not like this the result is this 8 by 8 structure that looks a bit like something you'd see in a children's playground and it's made of the same inexpensive plastic polyethylene it was very important to us that the design was simple and that it functioned well and we used the design principle of kiss keep it simple smarty and uh, to give you an idea uh, not only by using polyethylene is it very lightweight and easy to manage, but on the bottom here, you'll see that we have a notch. And this notch, uh, actually, uh, on the corresponding or the piece beside it, fits into a hole like this. That lets them link up and lock up really quickly. And then with just two screws, uh, each panel fits into the next. Pod looks like an igloo in your backyard, except in this case, the top slides off to reveal the night sky. Our design has a very large opening, as you can see. And what this allows you to do is see a lot of sky. And traditional small domes are based on large dome designs, and they have a slot that comes down the middle. And the problem with the slot is, number one, you can't see a lot, uh, which a lot of us like to get out under the stars, and a slot doesn't allow us to do that. The design is unique, but Wayne didn't come up with it alone. Now, I know this is pretty warm. Is this, like, just out of the oven yeah, or something? Yeah, this one's cooling. Fred Thorne is in the rotational molding business. Wayne's product is very well designed. That, I think, is part of the reason it goes together so well. Our industry is not as forgiving as other industries, so there's a lot of details have to go into the design to make it fit so well. Rotational molding is generally used to make big plastic things, stuff like slides for playgrounds. Once the design is set and the molds are cast, making the pod is fairly straightforward polyethylene powder is added, then this massive machine does the work. Our molds are hollow cavity cast aluminum tools. We fill it with whatever color that we, we need for the order. The molds are heated from the outside. As they're turning, the plastic melts to the outside of the tool, taking the shape of whatever tool you happen to be running. We cook for about 18, 20 minutes, depending on the size of the part cool for 35, 40 minutes, demold and do it again. So far, the sky shed pods are proving to be quite popular around the globe. But of course, Wayne's favorite pods are the ones in his own backyard. Most people spend their lives looking down 
and astronomers and other sky watchers spend their lives looking up because there's incredible things to see from your very own backyard. People have no ideas of what they can see with the modern equipment from their very own house. Like most amateur astronomers, Wayne hopes one day to make a big celestial discovery. But for now, he's pretty happy having just discovered a way to spend more time outdoors every single night of the year. From scanning our beautiful...